All right, what's going on? We're just after getting to the gym, and this is NGS to Monegar. So this is the gym I own in Monegar, Westmead, obviously, and today is leg day. So this is the leg session I would have done for the majority of my bulk because I'm trying to grow my legs a tiny bit because right now they are stick thin. So my session kind of compromises of doing big compound lifts and then going into smaller accessory work depending on what part of my leg I want to hit that day. So I'm going to start off with squats and I'm going to do four to five sets. So I'll do like two warm-up sets, building up to my working sets and then do three proper working sets. So that's why it kind of comes in around the four to five range depending on how long it's taking me to warm up. After that, I'm going to abandon the RDLs. I'm going to give you a voiceover through the video so I'm going to explain a bit more why I'm using abandoned the RDLs. After that, I'm going to hit hack squats. Then I'm going to go into lunges and finish off with leg extensions. And on leg day, I like to finish off with some ab work, so to really push it out, I'll show you how I train my abs as well. I've also got a separate video on this channel where I talk about my ab training, but you're going to see pretty much an exact, exact replica of what I do on my ab day in this workout. So we're going to get this started, we're going to get stuck into it, and we're going to hammer it out. absolutely ideal after a workout because it's so easily made, it's only like three minutes, mix it together, you're going to get a good hit of carbs and protein. So I put in 90 grams of oats, put in one scoop of protein, that was it done, microwave for like two or three minutes and it's topped off straight away. So this is absolutely ideal if you've only got short time after the gym to make sure you're still getting up to your macros. So I'm going to enjoy this here now and I'm going to catch up to you in a little bit after it. Alright, so just after finishing off the oats, which were absolutely delicious by the way, I'll always go for them as the easy go-to after a workout. So now I'm going to grab a shower and then I'm going to get stuck into my emails. So what my emails are is my job is online training and nutrition plans. So anyone who's on a plan with me will write to me during the week, but at the weekend everyone who's on a plan has to write into me for a weekly check-in I call it. And with that it's let me know how to progress and how to found a week and if they need any help changing things around for the following week. So it's an important one, so that's why everyone who is in the plan will write to me this weekend. So I'll go through a ton of emails between Friday night and Sunday morning. So I find it's important just to kind of keep on top of it instead of letting them really build up on me. If they really build up on you, 
it can become like just really tough in your head. It's like if you sat down to an assignment and you had 10,000 words to do, you're like, oh God. Whereas if you kind of just keep steady on top of it, it's a bit more manageable to do. So that's the way I like to kind of run it. And I like to make sure everyone who is on the plan and working with me is getting the best kind of service and getting looked after well. So I'm gonna get stuck into them now and then afterwards I'm gonna cook my dinner and I'm gonna show you what's going into my dinner and that's where this vlog is gonna end. Okay, so I'm gonna change the plan around a tiny bit. Instead of going and showing you what I have for dinner and just being boring and doing the same kind of usual thing, I'm gonna give you a recipe for French toast. So I've got my partner in crime, Ali, here now. So Bob was just gonna make a little kind of healthy version of French toast, but as healthy as we can make it. So it's gonna be a nice quick little skip through of how you actually do it. Okay, so we're starting off with 80 grams of egg whites and we're gonna put in a drop of almond milk as well. And it goes. So we're gonna use some bacon as our toppings. So literally just putting two rashers on, pop it into the grill. Let's see a harder work out of it. There we go. So I'll leave them cooking while we're gonna make the rest of the ingredients. So we're just gonna put a dash of cinnamon into it now as well. Next up is we're gonna put a drop of vanilla essence into the bowl. Off you go. Pressure. Right, so we're not being majorly fancy, we're just after going with like Brennan's wholemeal bread. So we're just cutting the tops off and then straight after that we're gonna dip it into our mix. So we go and we'll just let it soak in there for a little bit. So after we dip the bread in the mix, we just throw it onto the pan, let it cook evenly on both sides, and then we're pretty much done. And after all that's done, it's just a matter of getting your toppings. So we went with strawberries, bits of bacon, some Nutella, it was only like one serving, 15 grams, some Greek yogurt in there as well, and then a few almonds knocking around too. So it can be a healthy little version, and obviously the more kind of macro friendly you are when you're making it, kind of using just egg whites instead of full eggs, you're going to save from room in your fats, and that'll give you the room to get the Nutella in, get some Greek yogurt in, and obviously use some fruit too. So that's where I'm going to wrap this vlog up now. Me and Ali are going to enjoy this, sit down and make bits of this, and that was my legs there done, so obviously I'm going to have another one up that's going to be my push and my pull there too.